Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mili and if you're my returning subscriber, hey, thank you for staying here with me. Let's get to the video. Uh, as it says, uh, here are some of the reasons why you should not come to Denmark. And I'm not trying to uh, discourage anybody who's trying to come to Denmark, but I'm just giving you the reason to consider if Denmark is a place for you. Number one, in Denmark, uh, people do drink. And if you're a recovering alcoholic, or if you're trying to cut out uh, drinking, Denmark may not be the place for you because drinking in Denmark is part of the culture. Uh, drinking is part of Hugo. So if you don't like drinking and you're afraid of exposing your kids also to drinking, your teenagers to drinking, I think Denmark may not be the place for you because uh, you will learn it or, or you feel awkward because sometimes like in all occasions there is alcohol and people are going to be trying to offer you alcohol even if you're trying to say no. Um, yes, and you might be like a light, uh, like they call it loser sloka. <laughs> if a translate is called light slok, I don't know, like, yeah, like you're boring, you know. So that's a, a one thing. Number two, making friends is very difficult. Making friends, like I've made in my other videos, is very, very difficult to make friends in Denmark. So if you're coming to Denmark and you are such an extrovert, you are, you are, you are like, oh, hi, see me here, I'm here, can we talk? No, making friends is so difficult. You might make some acquaintances, people from work, but... Uh, Yes, it's a problem making friends, which is a problem for a lot of foreigners, I know. We can make friends with other foreigners, but making friends with a, a, a real Danish is very, very difficult. I know some Danish disagree, but it is very difficult to make friends, and you might end up feeling lonely when you come here. And another thing is the language. Learning the Danish language is difficult, but if you want, I learned it, everybody can learn it. But um, I think some experts who work in international countries can live without the, the, the learning the, the language. But I think if you want to live here and, 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 and live like a real normal life, I think it's important to learn the language because not everybody is speaking the language. If you're going to be out and about, it is nice to be able to speak the language. Um, because not like old, old people, they, they don't speak English and I think it's in, in many, many situations even like when you're in the hospital and this and that it's very nice to learn the language but the language is not easy but you, you have to if you're coming to Denmark to you think you're going to live here and especially if you're not an expert and you're coming with a spouse or something like that you're gonna be ready to to have to learn the language and the winter the weather the Danish winter is like all uh, all other European countries is very very long if you're not able ready to to adjust to the change in the weather, the winter, you should not come to Denmark because it gets so dark, guys. I get up like six. I get no. I get up at five, five, five thirty, and by the time I leave home around six twenty, it's very, very dark. I get to work. I'm inside uh, working. Three o'clock. I'm sitting in the car. By the time I get home, four o'clock, it's very, very dark. And this goes on for month from November. I think until February or something like that. So we have a month where it's like really, really dark. You would, we don't see daylight. The sun does sometimes shine through. And when the snow is out there, it's so nice. But the snow also, like, are you going to be able to, to be moving around in this snow? If you don't have a car, you're going to be walking in this snow. If you have a car driving, a head driving on ice, like when it's really, really cold, when it's really, really icy outside, oh, I get pain in my neck because I'm driving like this because it's like driving on ice. So if you don't want this, kind of weather i think everything else we can adjust like driving on ice they sold the the roads uh, um, the coldness you can wear the right clothes but it's the darkness that is the worst part and that can drive people crazy gonna drive you crazy it can drive you into a depression if you're not if you're not strong enough so if if this kind if you were like kind of person who likes to be out outside in the sun and and, and this like all year round no don't come to denmark go to Italy, I guess, and Spain or something like that. Yes, the real estate, you know, like if, if you do, if, if you want, if you're coming to Denmark and you want to, uh, like, I think it's mostly to the experts and you want to, to buy a house or something, houses are very expensive here. Uh, and if you want to find a cheap house, you have to move into uh, the villages, you know. But are you willing to go and live out in the villages and even get more lonely? Or what if you have your job close to Copenhagen or you have your job close to the city uh, and you can't af afford the house? Uh, so you have to move out to the outskirts of, of, of the city. 
and another thing like if you're going to rent in Denmark most of the time I think 90% of the time when you're renting apartments they're not vanished I think a lot of uh, in many countries people when they're renting apartment they are vanished not here in Denmark most apartments are going to be unfurnished unfur you have to bring your, your own furniture sometimes even the fridge and things like that yes um, washing machine things like that some apartments do have these things but some don't so that's um, something also to consider taxes guys in Denmark we pay a lot of taxes I'm not going to go deep in in in, in how, how the different taxes we pay the different fat we pay but we pay a lot of tax and uh, I think for me I think like almost if you feel like half of your salary is gone for the tax but we can say like we get a lot of good things out of these taxes free hospitals free dentists for the kids until they're 18 the roads are fine everything is functioning so we we, we help each other you know we, we like to help each other we like to contribute to society and that's why maybe Denmark is one of the best places to live because we I know we pay a lot of tax but if you if you turn it around and look it look at it differently then you see like yes we pay taxes but we have a lot of good things that come with that um compared like i think in the u.s i don't know how the system works there they i don't know if they pay a lot of tax and the things don't function but here a lot of things do function so if you don't like to pay a lot of taxes and you like to keep a lot of your money yourself you don't come to denmark because i think it's almost like 32 percent of your salary is probably gonna go to taxes also depending on how much you earn on and, how, and where you live exotic living if you want coming if you're coming from a country where you have this i'm calling it exotic lifestyle you are outside uh, all day you go to the beach uh, uh, anytime any day you know you you, you like cl climbing mountains you are surfing outside uh, every day every weekend you know doing picnics year round no it won't happen here in denmark it's gonna happen during the summertime and it's also very short because the, the summer here also can be weird you know the summer comes and sometimes it's raining sometimes it's so windy sometimes it's so windy you cannot even go to the beach you know so no if you're coming uh, you, uh, from a country you have where you have this kind of lifestyle Denmark might not be a place for you and another thing is like a conservative conservative living if you're coming from a country where you're so conservative Denmark is absolutely not your place to go because people here like yes of course people are conservative but people are free danish people are very very free and again i think that's why i say like they say denmark is one of the happiest countries in the world because they are so free here the women are going to be dressed the way they like in the summertime they're gonna wear the, the, the short shorts the mini 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 dresses clothes that are very revealing the men walk around with their bare shirts in the town nobody cares and this this uh, topless bathing in the beaches you're going to meet women laying on beaches topless sunbathing which is very 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 normal but you're coming from a conservative country and, and you have your kids you're afraid your kids are going to to be <laughs> looking at these women and maybe if you're a muslim uh, denmark is probably not a place for you uh, then another thing raising kids the culture of raising kids is very different you cannot spank yes spanking you cannot spank your kids you cannot hit your kids screaming at your kids i'm sure some Danish people do uh, punk the kids here and there, but you cannot do that. The, if the, the people in the in the daycare they find out, they'll report you, and the, the kids can report you. And your kids, the children, they will be taken away from you if you spank your children. And your teenage children, if you, especially if you bring teenage children like from Africa, and then they come here and they realize how much freedom they have. My goodness, they, if they decide now they don't want to stay with you, they might report you and they might get removed. So it's going to be you proving that they are wrong. So if you are coming here and you're bringing your kids and you think you're going to be like uh, disciplining them the way you've been doing from the country you come from, forget it. You cannot do that here in Denmark. Yes, and the last thing, guys, is I said stardom and influencer life. If you're coming to Denmark and you want to be like an influencer, you like be a musician, work in fashion, work on television, you know, like earning money through his social media lifestyle, I, th I don't think it's Denmark is something for you go to London I think go to the US Denmark they are so 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 far from that they haven't uh, no we are not yet there in Denmark so if you want to live this kind of life like be a musician artist fashion and this kind of life no don't come to Denmark Denmark is a beautiful place Denmark is a wonderful place if you're willing to adjust to the situation and and, uh, and, and and just to the lifestyle and just to the culture to the weather you should come to Denmark. All right, guys. I hope you like the video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos like this and subscribe. All right. Love you. Bye.